Hey, Greg, uh, just wanted to jump on here real quick. Um, with the real estate contract of sale, all you need to do is uh, go to SDAT, pull up the tax records, which is the State Department of Assessment and Taxation. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you may have learned, but you want to be learning real estate every day. Um, like I said to you before, I do some mentoring and coaching. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we can talk about in the future, but we, we got into this to just work on the lead gen and the lead conversion. So I uh, just want to share this with you real quick. So you just change the seller and the buyer name, obviously the property, property address, change the area, if the, the county changes or what have you, and then the price, and then we'll put in the closing date. And then on page three, you know, I want to make sure you put the names of, of the seller and the buyer. And then on page three, again, you want to make sure you change that address. So that's all you have to do. And you have a contract done. And um, you can sign it and send it. And, you know, I normally will put something in here. I um, uh, didn't do it in this case, but um, uh, like an inspection period. Uh, especially if you're looking to do a wholesale deal. Um, but anyway, just want to sit, share that with you. you. Also have received the seller option letter. Uh, so anyway, um, that's how easy it is to start changing contracts and you can just start sending those out. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to get in touch with me and we will talk soon. Thanks.